Hello, and thank you for tuning in for this message from Laramie County School District 1. My name is Dr. Margaret Crespo, and I am your Superintendent of Schools. This week, I'd like to focus on some celebrations. On Monday, our Board of Trustees and Principals recognized three students for receiving the Student of the Week Award. Congratulations to Central High Lydia Luby, South High Senior Sean Emery, and Cary Junior High 7th grader Caden Haynes for receiving this award. We have phenomenal schools here in LCSD1. Recently, I had the opportunity to visit Goins, Bags, Hobbs, and Saddle Ridge Elementary Schools. This was on my tour of promising practices for the strategic plan. I want to send a huge shout out to these schools. The programs I have observed to support our school and our students is stellar. Caring staff, systems of support, and overall focus on students were some of the indicators of greatness I was able to observe. During my tour, tours of buildings this fall, I heard from many students who were interested in working with the administration at the buildings and district to enhance experiences and opportunities for students within the district. We will be launching a leadership student advisory group. We haven't yet named it, but our goal is to reach our students and hear from them on needs, celebrations, and strategies. I recently met our Greater Cheyenne Chamber, and I look forward to our continued partnership. We are working on some exciting plans to bring opportunities to our students that will benefit our community. I am grateful for their commitment to our students. Navigating Laramie One is also a new launch to engage our community. Please check out our website to find out how to get involved. Through Navigating Laramie One, we hope to connect, engage, and share all we do here in the district. I want to say thank you to our parents and our staff and our students for their support through our virtual day last week. We have received feedback and we appreciate it. It will support our work moving forward. Lastly, for more information on the updated COVID protocols, please visit our website. We will continue to provide updated information.